Now let's look at the rules of multiplication. We're going to start with a special rule of multiplication. It requires that two events are independent, and they are independent if the occurrence of one has no effect on the probability of the occurrence of the other. And it's written as the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. So let's take a look at an example. It says a survey of American Automobile Association revealed 60% of its members made airline reservations last year. Two members are selected at random. Since the number of AAA members is very large, we can assume that R1 and R2 are independent. What's the probability both made airline reservations last year? So it says the probability the first member made an airline reservation last year is 60%, and the probability that the second member selected made a reservation is also 60% or 0 0.60. So since the number of AAA members is very large, it can be assumed that R1 and R2 are independent. Therefore, we multiply the 0 0.60 times 0 0.60, and there is a 0.36 or a 36% probability that both made airline reservations last year. A conditional probability is the probability of a particular event occurring given that another event has occurred. So the probability of the event A occurring given that the event B has occurred is written as the probability of A slash B, which means the probability of A given B. This kind of probability is aptly called a conditional probability because the value of observing the second event, B, is conditional or dependent on the occurrence of the first event. The general rule of multiplication is used to find the joint probability that two independent events will occur. It states that the two independent events, A and B, the joint probability that both events will happen, is found by multiplying the probability that event A will happen by the conditional probability of event B occurring, given that A has occurred. So figure 5-6 gives us the formula for the joint probability of A and B using the general rule of multiplication. So let's take a look at an example. A golfer has 12 golf shirts, nine are white, three are blue. He gets dressed in the dark, so he just grabs a shirt, puts it on. He plays golf two days in a row and does not do laundry. That's a key term, does not do laundry. What is the likelihood both shirts selected are white? So we want to find the probability of one white shirt and a second white shirt. Okay, one and two are, the two white shirts are dependent. So let's take a look over here. So the first day, the first day he has nine white shirts out of 12. So the probability of getting a white shirt is nine out of 12. The second day, he has one less shirt. And he has one less white shirt, right? So the probability of getting a white shirt now is 8 out of 11. 8 white shirts now out of 11. So to determine the probability of selecting two white shirts, we're going to use this formula here, the probability of A, and, of A times B. So we're going to take the probability of getting the white shirt on the first day, 9 out of 12, times 8 out of 11, 8 elevenths. And it's 0.55, so there's a 55% chance of selecting two white shirts in a row.